I'm teaching a class of Bartles here called Strange Books. And I decided to just pick the 15 strangest books I could think of. Uh, and partly as my own kind of personal protest against the professionalization of literature. Because, because as some of you I'm sure know, there's a kind of uh, attitude, um, particularly among students, which seems to me especially unfortunate, which is it's as if literature were, you know, any other profession like orthodontia, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> that um, that it's, you know, you go to the right MFA program, you have the right teachers, you get published in the right journals, you find the right agent, and then you're just on your way. The way, you know, as if you were on the Harvard Law Review. Well, it's really not like that. So I decided to, um, to just pick 15 writers who either were institutionalized or should have been. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so for, I mean, and it's quite a, a, a wide ranging and, and strange list. So, you know, Hans Christian Andersen, Lewis Carroll, Bruno Schultz, Jane Bowles, you know, writers who are really, really out there. And, and one of the things that I find most moving about the books and the writers and, and my discussions with my amazing students is that, is that I feel that we're not only in connection with the consciousness of these writers, but with the unconscious of these writers, because these particular writers really had, had less control on how much of their, uh, uh, over how much of their unconscious they just spilled into the page. So for example, we were reading um, uh, Hans Christian Andersen's story, The Snow Queen, or something right now, which is, which is, you know, Anderson seems to have thought that he was writing this, this kind of darling, improving parable about children uh, going through various travails and difficulties and winding up singing in the sunshine and, and you know, singing Christian hymns. Well, in fact, it's one of the most dark, disturbing, erotic, uh, awful in some ways stories ever written. So, and, and it was purely Anderson's unconscious that created the story and not his conscious mind, which thought it was doing something else. So, so week after week, I feel that, that you know, all these writers who, and I, and I ask my students to write kind of, we're doing kind of group biographies of the writers, so each one brings in an anecdote about the writer and we create a kind of biography. So, so Gogol, um, uh, Bolaño, uh, Henry Green, I mean just strange, strange books. So, so here are these writers, most of them Christ, <coughs> most of whom led terrible lives, really terrible lives, or painful lives, or, or, you know, and here, 200 years later, these bright, fresh-faced bar kids are reading these books, and, and we are, you know, reading, and we're, I feel, in intimate connection with these people who no longer lived, and, and if only they knew that they were being written, read, read in this way by these students, um, and they continue to live.